I need to confess a fault publicly, and that is uh, my support for ministries that were making graven images of Jesus Christ. Um, Chick Publications and Peter Ruckman, just to be very much out in the open with it. Um, I'm not saying that anybody's lost there or whatever else. They're, they're ministers of Satan. or I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is uh, you can get messed up with things, and, um, and I think it is a very serious sin to make graven images of the Godhead, of the Lord. And uh, Exodus chapter 20, verse 4, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. And here's how you duck it. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, under the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, um, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. And so what you do is you say, um, the way I was taught, you say, well, you know, we're making drawings of Jesus, but as long as you don't bow down and worship them, then it's okay. You can make what the Bible calls a graven image. Graven, if you can imagine like an engraving tool and you're, you're drawing, you are making a graven image. Okay, that's what the Bible's talking about there. All right, and it, don't say, well, well, then I can get away with it if I use my printer because it's not really me engraving. <laughs> no, 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 no. Somebody has to engrave it. They have to make a graven image at some point in time. Um, and But, you know, the, the, the right... the right answer is that you say, well, um, we're making a graven image, but as long as you don't worship it, then you're okay. That doesn't work. Acts chapter 17, go there. The scriptures are our authority. Your feelings and your preferences don't mean anything. Acts chapter 17, verse 29 for as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone graven by art and man's device. All right. And the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. So there's nothing in there about, uh, well, you can, you know, don't make a graven image and don't fall down and worship it. Or It doesn't say anything about falling down and worshiping in Acts chapter 17. It just says, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone graven by art and man's device. Now, if you want to try to make arguments for drawing pictures of Jesus and whatever else and say, well, we, you know, we can do that to spread the gospel, but, you know, we aren't really, it's not the same thing as falling down and worshiping and whatever. You're, you are in sin. Um, and Peter Ruckman drew these images of Jesus and that's always been something that's bothered me. It's always been kind of there in the background because, you know, I've learned a lot from the man and, you know, and Jack Chick, you know, they, the same thing. And I thought very highly of these two men and whatever, but they were in sin. I'm not saying that they're lost. I'm saying they were in sin. They were making graven images. And by the way, let me ask you a question. You say, well, no, this is ridiculous. This is a terrible road that you're going down, Brian. You're getting more cultic as time goes by. Well, you know, whatever. <laughs> I don't really care. Here's my question for you. If you're defending the actions of Peter Ruckman and Jack Chick by making these graven images, let me ask you a very pressing question. Where did they get the idea for that image from? Their Jesus that they made. Where did they get that image? Is there any description really of the, that description in, in here in the Bible? No. There's some, you know, so you could say some prophetic stuff back in the book of Song of Solomon, and I, I know that. And of course, they don't ever draw him like he would be pictured in Revelation, you know, the book of Revelation chapter 1. They don't draw that. But uh, they're getting it from the Roman Catholic Church. You look at the pictures of the Jack Chick drew and the, that Peter Ruckman drew. Those are Catholic Christs. And I remember Ruckman in his book, uh, The Mark of the Beast, he actually showed a picture of this Jesus Christ guy his face, and he said that this is going to be what the Antichrist looks like. Then why would you continue drawing it? You know it's wrong. You know it's condemned in Scripture not to make a graven image, but you continue drawing a false Christ that comes from the Catholic Church. And Jack Chick would draw angels with wings. I think Ruckman even did too, even though he preached that angels don't have wings. What is this? It's sin. You have to call things sin when they're sinful. You're not to make any graven images of the Lord. I was talking with uh, Brother Jacob Thompson about this whole thing, and, and he said he's working on this book, you know, which is going to destroy the Trinity thing. And he said, you know, 
He said, the way that you can tell that you have the right belief on the Godhead issue is you can't draw pictures of the Godhead. Modalists will draw their pictures. Trinitarians, of course, not only draw pictures, they have idols in the Catholic Church. The Father, the Son, the little dove, little flying dovey. Um, they're making graven images. But how do you draw the, the Godhead? Jesus has the body, the Father as the soul, and the Holy Spirit as the Spirit. How do you draw that? I mean, look at, look at the verse here. Acts chapter 7, verse 29. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold. Or, it goes on. Oh, what's our, us being the offspring of God? What does that have to do with anything? Well, let us make man in our image, the Lord is saying, back in Genesis, the book of Genesis. What's, our, what's God's image? Body, soul, spirit. Can you draw your soul and spirit? Can you accurately draw a somebody, some famous person, pick some famous person, draw, accurately draw their body, their soul, and their spirit? No. We have no idea what a soul and spirit looks like. You can't draw mine. I can't draw yours. But somehow you can draw God? And here's the thing that Jacob said, which I thought was such a profound statement. He said, therefore, we can't draw, you know, the Trinitarians draw their Christ, their Godhead, their, their Trinity. Excuse me, they don't call it Godhead. They, they will, but then they apologize and say, well, it's Trinity, actually, is a better word. Add a word to Scripture, but the modalists, they, you know, they'll draw their thing. But here's the point. The minute that you draw what God looks like, you're drawing a false God. Yeah. You say, what does your Godhead look like? I have no idea. And I'm not about to try to draw it. I can't draw what God looks like. Hmm. Something to think about there. Um, you're not going to find any scriptures. I mean, you can, you can have this, this argument stuff. Of, well, we're not to make a graven image because you're, it's a thing of bowing down and worshiping it. So we can kind of get away. Let's, that's arguing, you know, from kind of the negative thing of, 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 you know, you can't condemn me from this because I'm not, I'm not bowing down and worshiping this image of Jesus that I've just drawn. But here's, here's the real challenge. Show me a verse of Scripture where anyone was drawing pictures of Jesus to uh, lead people to salvation. Show me where anybody was making comic books of drawing what Jesus Christ looked like, making graven images of Jesus. Show me where it was ever done in Scripture. It's not there. You know why? Because it's wrong. Um, I've said it in the past and I'm going to say it again. I'm not ever going to hand out Chick Tracks anymore. Uh, I used to be a big supporter of Chick Publications. And they still put out some decent stuff and whatever else, but they're putting out satanic graven images. You say satanic? Yeah, because I believe that the Catholic Christ that they're drawing is actually going to be the Antichrist that shows up. That's satanic. That's very satanic. And Peter Ruckman was the same way. Drawing these pictures of Jesus Christ. You know, oh, the Lord, the Lord had put it in my heart to draw the Last Supper and I, I had to draw this thing. The Lord didn't do anything of the kind. God is not going to contradict His Word. God is not a liar. He's not going to say, hey, don't make a graven image of me. Oh, hey, but except for you, you can make one that's going to lead people to Jesus. You know, Jesus who? This guy in the painting? So, again, I'm not condemning anybody. I'm not saying that they're lost and on their way to hell or anything, or, or in hell. Both men are dead now. They know better. Um, but I'm saying we as Christians need to condemn things like that and just say, I'm not going to stand for that. Um, you're making a graven image. That's wrong. And uh, if you're going to have graven images in your comic books, if you're going to have graven images in your videos of Jesus, this Jesus guy, I don't want anything to do with you. Um, you're wrong. You're in sin. You're disobeying the second commandment. And um, I can't draw a picture of my soul and my spirit. And so you shouldn't be trying to do the same with the Lord. So just a challenge out there to you. Um, you can't win the lost to Jesus Christ with the wrong methods, right? Just as simple as that. Um, examine yourself. Examine your beliefs. They better line up here with the Bible. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching.